What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. If you guys missed the team builder, there's going to be a link in the description down below. Also, there's going to be an in-video link at the end of the video. Make sure you guys check it out so you guys know the details of this team. Today, we are going to battle Christian, who's bringing a pretty cool team, running a Sylveon, uh, an Espeon. Malamar is a really good Pokemon to see. Raichu is really interesting. The Pokemon that's more threatening in my opponent's team, to, in my opinion, is going to be the Gyarados. Now, who do I think my opponent is going to start with? Probably the Night the Ninetales or the Raichu is what I'm predicting here. I'm really comfortable. I'm scared of the Gyarados. Uh, that's why I'm a little bit hesitant on starting with the Claydol. I think we run... I think we start a... Let's see... I don't know who to start with, man. This is a little bit tough. I don't got any pivot moves, so that's going to be tough on us. I think I'm just going to go ahead and start Claydol. I mean, in all reality, the chances of him starting with the with the uh, Gyarados is going to be 1 in 6. Malamar also has a water type move. I got to be careful with that. Malamar is also super effective against Claydol, so we got to be careful. We're going to go ahead and get this battle started here. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment down below, and let me know who is going to be the MVP of this battle. Most valuable Pokemon. Subscribe to my channel for more Wi-Fi battles. You won't want to miss any. We have some pretty awesome and interesting battles. So I'm really excited for this battle. It's a matter of who my opponent is going to go ahead and start with. So let's see. The Gyarados. I can't believe it. Out of all the Pokemon, he started Gyarados. I'm bulky. Oh, do I really want to risk the biscuit? And Intimidate doesn't really scare me. He's probably going to want to go for a Dragon Dance. Bolt Town is a really good Pokemon. We should have started Bolt Town in all reality. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to predict the Dragon Dance. I knew it. And I'm going to go ahead and hit him with the Rock Tomb. I know he's going to have a plus one in attack. But his speed is going to be back to normal and that's one of the biggest things because our team isn't the fastest uh, team in the world some pretty good damage almost a quarter let's see uh, do I want to go for another rock tomb or do I want to reflect here he is plus one attack I don't necessarily have anything that wants to take a water type move from this Gyarados so I think we're gonna go ahead and just let Claydol go down as much as I hate it waterfall is gonna hurt a lot it doesn't knock us out, but it's really close. We're going to head to Reflect here. Very crucial. Very, very crucial. My opponent's team is mostly special, though. But a Reflect is also important because this thing is at a plus one. It comes a Waterfall. I'm okay with that. Next, what I'm going to go ahead and do is bring in the Bolt Sound. And I'm going to scare him with a, with a Thunder Fang. So here comes the Bolt Sound. He's probably going to bring in the Raichu. Do I want to risk it? No. I'm going to go ahead and give Raichu the plus one. Even if he hits me with an electric type attack, Raichu is not going to not gonna like it. Because I'm just going to switch into the extra drill uh, here on the next turn. If he does go into the Raichu. The withdrawals Gyarados. He's going to come to Lightning Rod Raichu, right? I knew it. And it's a shiny Raichu. That's beautiful. That's really beautiful. The Thunder Fang. Obviously not effective because of the lightning rod. And I'm going to predict probably... Mm, what is he going to do? Because part of me now just wants to go ahead and hit him with a crutch. Is that a plus one? And man, and I'm in a little bit of a scary spot now, to be honest. He's probably not going to hit an electric type move in all reality. So then what do I do? I already have one Pokemon down, which is a problem. The good thing is that this thing doesn't have static. I think I'm going to go Crunch here. That's my next strongest attack. Fake out. Okay. Interesting. So then is this a... We do outspeed it for sure. Here comes the Crunch. Can we knock it out? That's a lot of damage. Almost knocks it out. All right. Bolt Switch. Uh, no biggie there. No biggie because we resist it. It does a lot of damage because of the lightning rod uh, plus one special attack, but it's not enough to knock us out. What are you going to do, Christian? Pokemon I am afraid of. Um, 
really the Gyarados is the only Pokemon I fear, so Voltown is going to be really, really valuable to me. I don't have any... The Malamar doesn't necessarily scare me either. Oh, here comes a Sylveon. That's beautiful, a shiny Sylveon. Obviously, don't want to take too much damage from the Sylveon. I'm going to go ahead and go into Excadrill. And then I'm going to predict for my opponent to switch. Um, probably going to switch into Gyarados. But we'll see. Hyper Voice, I resist. That's a lot of damage. That's too much. That's a critical hit. That's why. Okay, this changes the complexity a little bit. Because if I predict Earthquake, my team is a little bit weak right now. Iron Head's probably going to knock this thing out. Bulky Sylveon. Oh my goodness. We're going to go down because of that. We're going to go down. That's fine. I can't believe it, man. <laughs> That's terrible. Our first battle is not going not is not going as planned. So we're going to go ahead and go Bolt Town here. Instead of clicking the Electric type attack though, I'm pretty comfortable just going Psychic Fangs and reveal that to my opponent. Uh, maybe I can reveal Fire Fang. He doesn't necessarily have anything that fears the Fire Fang, so I'm just going to reveal that instead of Psychic Fangs. Got the Fire Fang. Gonna knock out the Sylveon. So we get our first knockout. My opponent has knocked out two Pokemon already. That's not good. The Reflect wears off. Obviously not a good thing either. My opponent's gonna hit Raichu and then Fake Out next. Watch. He's probably gonna Fake Out with... Oh, here comes Espeon. I outspeed this thing. Maybe this thing is Scarfed, actually. You gotta be careful and wary of that. Um... I'm going to predict he's Scarfed, and I'm just going to go into Grimmsnarl here. My opponent obviously has the Dazzling Gleam, but we'll see what we'll see what he wants to do. Hopefully he hits me with the Psychic type move. I dare you. Hit me with... I knew it. I knew it. Okay. So now, what do I want to do next? His Espeon is down. I don't necessarily have a really big Pokemon that threatens me. I kind of want to go for a bulk up, to be honest with you, but I'm not sure if it's the right move, if that makes sense. So we're going to go ahead and bulk up here, and we'll Dynamax next turn. I think that's going to be a good move. My opponent stayed in, which is a little bit scary. He's probably going to hit me with a... Oh, mine. Okay. I see you. I see you. I see you. Okay. He obviously outspeeds me. But I'm going to go for a G-Max News here. We're going to We're going to Dynamax. I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest with you. I didn't think our first battle was going to go like this. We're, we're actually at a disadvantage a little bit. Part of me wanted to click the Spirit Break. I don't think it's a smart move, though. So here comes the Grim Snarl. We're a little bulky. Not too much. My opponent, Dazzling Gleam, obviously. Weakness policy is going to take into effect now. That's beautiful. So our attack is raised. Grimmsnarl is just a huge void right now. G-Max Snooze comes in. And it's going to knock out this Espeon. Espeon did not want to mess with us. Oh, uh, now I'm weak though. Grimmsnarl is a little bit... It's, it's not really bulky. It's not the fastest Pokemon in the world either. Ninetales might knock us out. Beautiful shiny Ninetales. And it's a square shiny. Throughout. I expected that, to be honest with you. Nine Tails is going to outspeed us and is probably going to knock us out, to be honest with you. So we're going to go ahead and hit another G-Max News. It's probably going to Dynamax also. Nasty Plot. What are you going to do, boy? So the good thing is that G-Max News is going to make my opponent fall asleep this, uh, this upcoming next turn, I believe. Yeah, this next turn. The end of this next turn. I don't know why he Nasty Plot. He should have gone for damage. Beautiful Gigantamax Grimmsnarl. You, can, you can't even see his torso. All you see is his, is his butt and his legs. Gyarados is a scary Pokemon for sure. It's probably going to want to... Oh, that's 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 pretty good. I respect that. Respect the Gyarados, obviously. I'm going to go ahead and hit the G-Max News again. So now we're at a little bit of a disadvantage still. Probably should have gone for a guard. A max guard. So now my opponent's going to Dynamax. Yeah, I think I should have gone for a max guard. The Gyarados outspeeds us, even though we are... I think we're Jolly Nature. We might be Adamant, actually. I'd have to double check. 
Yeah, he's gonna max geyser's gonna knock us out for sure. That's all right. It's not gonna knock us out. Wow. This is my last my last turn of Dynamax. So G Max News is gonna be a pretty good factor here. You know why it didn't knock me out? Because I'm at a plus one defense. Gyarados gets knocked out. Is this gonna be a Grim Snarl sweep? This is dirty. <laughs> this is dirty. This is dirty. Huh. Grim Snarl, how I love you. You're awesome. So he's two, he has two more Pokemon. He has the Malamar and he has the Raichu. Raichu's probably gonna hit me with a fake out. And that's fine. That's gonna be it for Grimstar after this turn. Because he's gonna hit me with a fake out. I kinda wanna bulk up to be honest with you. Um But I don't think it's worth. Yeah, it is it kinda is. I mean he's still gonna outspeed me anyways. Oh he's not? Okay. But for a bulk up again, it looks like he got a little bit bigger with that animation. Obviously, bulk up does make him a little bit bigger, but imagine we lived. Imagine if we lived. Beautiful Grim Snarl. Damaged by the recoil. Oh, he used Bolt Tackle. Did he use Bolt Tackle? I thought he used Bolt Switch. Now, Malamar is the last Pokemon on my opponent's team. Do I want a Destiny Bunch? I kind of do, to be honest with you, but. I don't think so. I don't think I want a Destiny Bond. Um, instead, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and let Halucha take care of this. Malamar comes out. Gotta be careful with the Psychic type move, obviously. Oh, here comes the Halucha. Hello. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and hit a Sky Attack here. Power activated. We outspeed this thing naturally, anyways. I should have checked the base power because on my team builder, I wasn't sure what the base power to this was. Imagine it misses. I would be a little bit upset to be honest with you. Yeah, I think Sky Attack has 120 base attack. Psycho Cut is going to do some damage for sure. We live it. We're living. Okay. So, I just want to check really quick. 140. That's actually really good. So, here comes the high, uh, here comes the high jump kick. Okay, I was a little bit scared. I thought we were gonna miss. And there you have it. That is battle number one with this team. That was such a beautiful victory. I thought we were gonna lose for sure. Um, really, the MVP, in my opinion, in this battle was the Grimmsnarl. G-Max News didn't really play a factor in this team, but the weakness policy did. Weakness policy, which was actually huge in this battle. Um, now, what? how long have we been recording? 12 minutes. Do I wanna do another battle? Let's do another battle. Let's do one more battle. Welcome back, everybody. We are against Tenshi next, and Tenshi's bringing a little bit of a scary team with Dragapult. The Terrakion's a little bit scary. So is the Gothitelle. If this is a Shadow Tag Gothitelle, I might be in trouble. And we also have the Kamo, which is probably gonna be his Dynamax Pokemon, let's be completely honest with each other. And then the Arcanine and the Bisharp. Um, what is my opponent gonna start with is always the question. I kind of want to start Grim Snarl, given that we do have the Fairy type move for Kamo. We got the Fairy type move for the Dragapult. We're Dark type, by the way. Um, we got the Fairy type for the Terrakion. He might start. Yeah, I think Grim Snarl is a good start. I don't think it's very smart, though, to be honest with you guys. Um, I think we might start with. I think we're starting with Excadrill, to be honest with you guys. We do outspeed a Dragapult. I don't want to reveal that right away, though. Um, I should start... Let's go ahead and start with uh, Claydol. We're going to start with Claydol to set up some screens. And then we'll go from there. So Claydol, Gengar, Halucha, Bolt Town, Excadrill, and the Grim Snar. And imagine if Pokemon was played with... Send one Pokemon out until it gets knocked out, and then you send the other Pokemon, and so on and so forth. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know how I'd feel about it, to be honest with you. But anyways, Tenshi, your lead card is looking pretty cool, my friends. Number three versus number 244. Here we go. This is the Eternatus 2 theme. I don't think I've heard it in such a long time. I forgot what this sounds like. Tenshi sends out the Terrakion, which is actually good news to us. Because I don't think Terrakion has an, an attack that knocks out the Claydol. Should we take the opportunity to hit Stealth Rock? I don't think we necessarily need it, need it. But it would be helpful. 
What I'm gonna do here is hit the Reflect, because Terrakion's pretty threatening. Kamo is extremely threatening. Taunts. That's good. That's very, very good. Okay. So, obviously we can't Reflect anymore. I'm gonna hit him with a, with a Rock Tomb, because Terrakion's kind of fast. Last thing we need to do is for this thing to pull the sweep. Zalfrock? Or... Hmm. Okay. Okay, boy. I see you. Terrakion's not the bulkiest Pokemon in the world. I think the move now is to switch. Switch into who is the biggest question. It's, he made a good play starting with Terrakion, to be honest with you guys. Um, Who do I want to switch into? I mean, we have Focus Blast. Focus Blast hits Terrakion. It hits the... The Bus Sharp. Shadow Ball hits the Dragapult. I think the Pokemon we're going with next is going to be Gengar. That's going to be the Pokemon we're going to go to next. He withdraws. I withdraw. Who is this? Okay. I'm, I'm not scared of this thing, to be honest. Unless it has Sucker Punch, I'm scared. I don't think it does. It might, actually. Here comes the Gengar. My opponent made a really good switch. Really, really good switch. Now... I'm gonna Focus Blast here. He's probably gonna hit me with a Sucker Punch, and I shouldn't go... It, it, it hits. This thing is going down. It's knocked out. Right? It, ah, Focus Sash. Not bad. Not bad. That's not bad at all. Special defense goes down. Defiant activates. Why did we have to get that special defense drop? Throw chop. Obviously going to knock us out. <laughs> I can't believe this. Okay, so at least Cursed Body activates. What a sequence of events. Wow. Um, Brimstar, Excadrill. Excadrill does have speed. So does the Bolt Town. Should we start with Excadrill, though? Uh, or not necessarily start, but should we... Use extra drill. I don't think he has any any Pokemon that uh, he doesn't necessarily have any Pokemon that have priority outside of the extra drill or the Bacharp. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. For all we know, this might be a sweep. We're gonna go extra drill, even though the move feels like Grimmsnarl. We naturally outspeed this thing. I'm honestly just gonna hit Earthquake. He doesn't have any Pokemon that levitate. Earthquake is good. Earthquake is good. He's gonna hit a... Okay, no Sucker Punch. Thank goodness. That would have been troublesome. That would have been really bad. That would have been really bad. Okay, so... The Sharp goes down. Now, who is my opponent gonna go into? I can't really predict what he's gonna do. I can't predict. This music is making me uneasy, to be honest with you guys. Who is gonna be the MVP of this battle? Let me know in the comment section down below. Come on, Tenshi. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Is this? I knew it was gonna be the Terrakion, to be honest with you. This is a bulky Terrakion, though. Do I want to stay in? Probably gonna Earthquake, right? I think that's the move. Do I want to let this thing go down? I don't know what... Oh, so he's obviously fighting type, actually. I don't, because of the bulk, I don't think we're going to knock it out, is the thing. I'm going Halucha here. I'm going to go Halucha. I think I want a Sword Stance. Yeah, I think that's, I think those are the moves. Those are the sequence of moves. Close combat. Nearly knocks us out. Wow. It's a crit. That's what I get for doing a second straight battle, to be honest. He's a life orb. Life orb taunt set. That's that's actually amazing. High jump kick. I think I outspeed this Terrakion. I don't outspeed Terrakion. It's obviously not not scarfed. I'm mad at nature though. He's probably jolly. We deserve to go down after that. Okay, so we're scarfed ourselves with Excadrill. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I just messed it up for us. <laughs> I messed up. Wow. You know what I did? I pressed right instead of down. 
Oh my goodness, I think we lost. Let's be honest, we lost. I dare you to go for a top though. That way I can at least do some damage to you. This music isn't helping. Withdraws to Rakion. Be understandably so. Not the tell? Dragapult. Dragapult comes out. Dragapult is a scary Pokemon. It's very scary. Beautiful shiny. At least its defense goes down. I'm not gonna let Clay Dole go down yet. I am going Grimmsnarl, and Grimmsnarl has the bulk up, so I think it's a good time, a good time for us to go bulk up. Bulk up, and then I don't know, hit hit something pretty hard. Watch him go for a Steel Spike, or not Steel Spike, uh, a Steel type move. Shadow Ball. We resist that. Hopefully, it does some. Okay, good. That's good. Now, special Dragapult. Who can come in? I almost want a Drain Punch, to be honest. Though, I don't think it's the best move. It's probably going to be Arcanine. And because of that, I'm bulking up. Withdrawals. If this Arcanine is bulky, I'm going to be a little bit upset, to be honest with you. Balto is coming now. It's a beautiful nickname for your, uh, for your Arcanine. Bulk up. If this is a bulky Arcanine, I'm gonna freak. I'm gonna freak. Um, I think Drain Punch is the move here. Will-O-Wisp. I knew it. I had a gut feeling. I should've listened to my gut feeling. I should've switched out. Listen to yourself next time. So, there goes our Dynamax Pokemon. There goes our Dynamax Pokemon. I mean, we can still kind of save them. I'm going to go for Bulk Up again. To cancel out that Flare. That, uh, I was going to say Flare Blitz. But to cancel out the, the Burn. Go for another Bulk Up. We're going to be a little bit bulkier too. So there's a plus also. Come on. What are you going to do? Lesson learned. Don't ever choose the Internatus uh, music. Internatus 3 made me uneasy. Why did I think Internatus 2 wasn't going to make me feel uneasy? Roar! That's hurtful, to be honest. That's really hurtful. Here come the Bolt Sound. This is the last Pokemon I wanted to hit the field. My opponent's team is balanced. I think we're taking a fat L right now. We're going to take a fat L. Okay. Wow, I don't even know what to do, to be honest. It's gonna go for a Will-O-Wisp, possibly. The rest of my Pokemon are all physical sweepers, or physical attackers. Not necessarily sweepers. Our sweeper got roared out. I got too hyped on that battle number one. I got way too hyped. Will-O-Wisp is a good attack to, to use right now, because all my Pokemon are physical, uh, physical, uh, physical attackers. I was gonna say physical sweepers. Oh, man. Can I just get Mercy ruled right now? I'm at a huge disadvantage. I don't think I can go back from this battle, to be honest with you guys. I cannot come back from this battle. So we're going to go for... I think I went Reflect. I don't even know what I'm doing with myself right now. Stealth Rock. Okay, we went Stealth Rock. Reason up, rightfully so. Because my opponent seems to play this, uh, be playing the switching game a lot. I think the best move to go for next is going to be a Reflect. You can keep using Flamethrower, buddy. I should have gone for a Light Screen and then Reflect. Because we would at least be able to take another attack. Uh, actually, not, not really. We would have been knocked out. At least we're stronger against physical moves, though. Now, I'm going to go Rock Tomb here. I don't think Exedrill can knock this thing out is the thing. I've only knocked out his Bice Shard. That's it. He already knocked out three of my Pokemon. Basically made one useless. I don't want to go Grim Snarl because he's just going to laugh at my face and go for a Will-O-Wisp. I'm going to go Bolt Town and I'm going to rely on a sweep with Excadrill. Alright, so my move now is going to be Thunderfang. It has to be Thunderfang. It's my strongest attack. Possibly flinch him too. Watch him flinch. 
Paralysis? No? None? Goes for a flamethrower. I'm not gonna... I don't get knocked out. Thank goodness. I will after this attack for sure. Watch him have extreme speed. Watch him have all the moves I'm calling right now. Imagine if I do get an x schedule sweep though. I can only hope. Alto goes down. I go down. There's the crit that I deserved. Now, my opponent has the Gothitelle. Obviously, the Dragapult is a threat. He has a lot of Pokemon that are, that are threats to me. I'm gonna go Grimmsnarl, because really, what am I gonna go to? I hope he goes Dragapult, because if he goes Dragapult, I'm gonna Spirit Break. At least lower its special attack by one. Grimmsnarl, here we go. I obviously outspeed. Who is he bringing in? Terrakion. Good. Switch. He's out, he's, he outspeeds me. I thought I was going to outspeed, but I don't outspeed. I switched first, but it I got knocked out second. And then I switched first. I think that's how it goes. Oh, man. He's going to die in the max, and that's the game. That's honestly the game. I can act, I can Dynamax Exedrill, but it's not gonna do anything. I, I don't even have candies on my Exedrill. That's a beautiful sight. I actually have a Terrakion team. It's not necessarily ready, but it's ready. Imagine we lived. Imagine if I got bulk up. I can only hope. I keep saying the same thing over and over, but I really can't come back from this at this point. Loses HP. He's still Dynamaxed, and nothing I can do. Quite frank, uh, quite frankly, nothing I can do is gonna is gonna work. I can hope for a Steel Spike. Granted that it's super effective, I'm gonna try Dynamaxing and going for a Steel Spike. I'm gonna try it out. Cause Steel Spike, well, he's a fighting type. Regardless, I'm gonna I'm gonna get taken down. If he goes for a max knuckle, he's gonna get another plus one, and he's gonna keep going over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Our HP didn't get doubled. We're gonna get molly whopped here, watch. I was probably better off not dynamaxing. We live with 4 HP? It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter at this point. He's gonna he's gonna knock us out. And then Dragapult's gonna come in next. I think we were really, a, a critical hit. That might have mattered. That special defense, or not not the special defense, that defense uh, plus one is probably not gonna matter either. Because now I'm slow. The Dragapult's gonna outspeed me. I at least knocked out three of his Pokemon. Who is this? Yeah, Dragapult, it's gonna outspeed me. We could have played a lot better to be honest. I really wasn't expecting uh, expecting a taunt from my opponent. Skill Spike or Quake? What do I want to go for? It doesn't matter. Just click Skill Spike. Dragapult outspeeds me. Hits me with a Shadow Ball. And boom! Excadrill blows up. Just like that. Tears. That was a good battle, Tenchi. Thank you for that battle. I have no words for that battle. I got outplayed left and right. Um... Grimmsnarl, the burn was huge. It was a really momentum shift uh, from towards my opponent. Uh, not that I had any momentum during the entire battle. I'm going to take your lead card, Tenshi. Thank you. That's going to be it for this video. Let me know who the MVP of this battle was, if any. If there was an MVP on my opponent's side. But you guys let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate the time you guys took to watch my video. And also, like the video as it helps the channel out. Subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell so you guys never miss a battle. I will see you guys on Monday.